Good morning. I still feel really rubbish. I feel like I just need a day in bed. Um, sorry, I haven't looked in the mirror today either, so sorry if my hair's a mess. <laughs> I'm keeping it real. Um, yeah, I feel like I just need a day in bed, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep busy and sort through everything. I've been really looking forward to decluttering and sorting my life out, so the time is here. I'm going to get to it. Um, but I do feel really rubbish. For some reason, I can't lay in anymore. Like, I wanted a really big light in this morning, and I, I woke up at, like, 7. Before I moved on to kind of makeup, I just wanted to sort out some of these, like, wicker baskets I have. I have decided to keep lots of my old kind of, I guess, memories or, like, old diaries in this one. Um, some of them are new notebooks that I want to use, and some of them are old diaries like this one. Wait, I don't know when this is from. <laughs> Let's have a look 2012 so this was my first year after uni and I used to like literally these are moleskins and I used to have one every single year and I put everything I ever did in them but I'm just really sentimental so I don't like getting rid of stuff like this like there's loads of blogger events because it was like my first year after uni where my blog was like taking off um there were some dates in some of them as well yeah look <laughs> This is so funny. And then I also found these. Now, these are like a mix of photo booth pictures from blogger events um, over the past, I, God, I don't know, six years. Let's have a look at this. So this is me, Lily and Zoe at an Urban Decay event. It's a shame these don't have dates on, actually, because I'd quite like to um, remember what year they were. This must be 2000. What, 13? My gosh. <laughs> These are so funny. Like, the ultimate photo booth bitch. Look, there's me and Emma Milk Teeth. Motel. Bobby Brown. This is the Daily Mix launch party. Who remembers Daily Mix? This is me, Lucy and Jim. Oh, I love, I love keeping these pictures. I would like to maybe keep, like, a photo booth wall or something. But I, like, I've literally got so many I could cover it a whole entire like wall out of them let's see this one so this is zoella's launch party mainly just me and andrew <laughs> and me some gleam girls and joe maddie emma again so many pictures literally i used to just take andrew into all the photo booths <laughs> this is tanya's um launch party who is this this is lucy and lydia and victoria everyone looks so different now like all of our hair is different now <clears throat> gabby and lucy and lydia and then the last halloween party oh so many memories I've decided to make this smaller wicker box um, my calligraphy stuff. It's something that I started last year and I really want to continue and experiment and evolve with it this year. So I have like my nibs in these little um, envelopes. I'll show you. So the nibs are in there. Um, and then I've got the pens that you put the nibs into here. I really love this one. It's like a gold marble. It's so beautiful if it focuses. And then I've got some black ink here. I've got gold and silver ink here and a um, black notepad. So I can experiment with different like lighter shades. Um, and then I have a calligraphy box here, like a calligraphy pen. Um, which is if I don't want to use ink because it's like a fountain pen already included. So yeah, I'm going to put all my calligraphy bits into this one so that it's kind of all organised and easily accessible. So this is my IKEA like shelving unit. Um, I might actually, when I take it upstairs, flip it on its side, but then I'd have to turn these drawers the other way around if that makes sense. Um, just so I can like have more room. I don't know yet. I'm undecided. But in this one here, it's my arts and crafts box, and I've got to say it's one of my favourite parts of this shelving unit. Um, I keep all my arts and crafts in here. Oh, I just love it so much. Ignore that. But we've got like yarn, like loads of string. Got loads of nice pens. Um, a candle holder which I definitely do not want anymore. I'm gonna get rid of that. Look at me decluttering. I've got like stamps, ink, sellotape, nice sexy envelopes. I just love this box so much, especially around Christmas time or people's birthdays. I always come in here and get loads of like string and like 
glittery tags to wrap things up in and I also keep all my like cards so I have like a stack of cards basically whenever I walk past a paper chase I always always go in and like stock up on cards especially if they're in sale paper chase would be like the best sale cards you're a good egg one pound this one's probably also on sale like one pound for this is absolutely beautiful so yeah I always always stack to go to paper chase so if I'm ever caught at a moment and I'm like oh I need to get a card for someone I just go in there um, but anyway, I wanted to show you these. I got sent this in my PO box and I just found it and was like, oh my gosh, I haven't like organised it or showed anyone these yet. So it's from a brand called Chase and Wonder and they've got a website, www.chaseandwonder.com. I've never heard of this brand before, but I, act I actually really love it. So they've got like pin badges, cute little cards. I'm definitely giving this one to my mum because it's hilarious. Um, happy birthday. Oh my God, this one's beautiful. I don't want to give these away, I want to keep them for myself. <laughs> a notepad which is beautiful. And then we've got some like makeup bags and pencil cases. This is so beautiful. These would make great gifts. So yeah, I really, really like this brand. I'm definitely going to have a browse later. Okay, so I'm going to start going through these drawers. Um, To be honest, I've put a lot of stuff in them, but I haven't got much out of them in the past, I don't know, five months. Just because I've had so much stuff kind of like blocking them in like those wicker baskets kind of like had them blocked in so i'm going to go through them now i'm going to be really ruthless and try and get rid of as much stuff as i can because if i haven't used it yet then i don't think i'm ever going to they are mostly pr samples things that have been sent to me but maybe i could give them to some fellow bloggers to review on their blogs instead either that or i'll just give them to friends and family i don't feel comfortable selling any pr samples i get a lot of people commenting when i do videos like this especially on my main decluttering main channel videos people like oh put those on depop but I don't really feel comfortable doing that. One, because I might have tried the product once or twice before and I feel like that's a little bit unhygienic. Unless it's my family and friends who really don't care about that. Um, and two, I don't feel comfortable making money from PR samples. I just think that's a bit weird. So yeah, I am going to try and downstream all this now. Also, I can put these in a bag and send them to a women's shelter or give them to charity as well if they haven't been used. So they will be going to a good home. I've had a genius idea, I think. So I need to obviously take all these up to my bedroom upstairs, which, which I will now have as an office slash bedroom. Um, look, I've got one, two, three, four of them. Um, and what I did when I moved was just took everything out of each drawer, put it into a box and then um, put it all back in after. But I've had a genius idea this time, which I think will make it a lot more easy. So what about if I just take like the screws out of each drawer so I can carry them up with the stuff in and then just put them back in after? That makes total sense, right? Because then that will say it will make this a whole lot lighter because the drawers won't be in it. And it means that I won't have to spend ages taking everything out and then putting everything back in again. I think that's a genius idea. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm not going to. I'm not going to take them out now, but I am going to unscrew it so that when my dad comes, he we can just take them straight out. So smart. I've just been decluttering some notebooks. I'm obviously keeping all of my map ones because they are my absolute faves. I am obsessed with maps. Um. And I love all of these. I also love marble ones. I've got quite a few there. I also have some here at the back. This is massively downsized. I've got rid of so many, which I'm really proud of. Yeah, really proud of getting rid of all those. Um, I've also got these birch boxes that I don't really want to get rid of because I love the colour scheme of them. But one of the, the bottom ones filled with tea lights. So I just need to find a use for the next two. I could probably get rid of them, but I just think they're quite pretty on the shelves. Now I need to work on this one, which is a bit of a mess. I've also got some perfumes here that I want to declutter and I've got some more under my bed so that might be my next job perfumes sorry I also forgot to show you these perfumes as well but yeah I'm gonna get through these ones next as well I made myself a ham and coleslaw sandwich for lunch and a pack of crisps and a cup of tea <laughs> This is so unhealthy, but I need comfort food. Right, I've just been sorting out some eyeshadow palettes that I wanted to declutter. These are the ones I'm keeping. These are all the ones oh, I am giving to friends and family. They kind of haven't been used much yet. In fact, I could probably give this one away because I haven't used it yet. It's brand new. It's from Stila. So yeah, I might add that to my giveaway pile. 
as a little treat for you guys. And these are the ones I'm just chucking because they're way too old. This one is quite hard for me to chuck because it's sentimental. Um, when I was young, me and my sister used to do, we used to do, go to like a dancing class. And my mum used to do our um, makeup, like eyeshadow for the performances. And this is what she used to use. Great memories, but I never use it, so I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys this. This might look a little bit obsessive, excessive rather. This is where I keep all my candles. So yeah, these are the majority of my candles. Um, and whenever I fancy kind of a new fragrance, I'll just pull this out from under my bed and choose one. This is not a candle, but this is a can of Tiger Beer that Damien from OK Go drunk out of at a gig. And I was like, can I have that to the bouncer when they finished? <laughs> I've been trying to use as many of these up recently because I've got way too many and I want to make some room. And I've also got a lot to get through. So I've been kind of trying to like, I've got one on my desk there, just use as many as I can. So I might, I don't know, I might just burn this because it, it was like a bell jar and I broke the bell jar. So I might start burning that. I don't think it has a fragrance. Um... And these little ones are from Ikea. They're like chocolate fragranced. So I might actually start burning those in my kitchen just to make some room in here. Because I have got some other ones that I could fit in. I can't remember where I got this but I love it so much. It's like an owl candle and I don't want to burn it because it's so beautiful. A lot of these are from like um, Home Sense. An awful lot of them are from Home Sense. This one as well. So yeah, this is where I keep my candles. I'm not going to really declutter anyway, any. I'm just going to start burning a lot of them now. I'd love to know how you guys store your candles. I'm thinking of um, maybe getting all my Yankee ones and storing them on that shelving unit. Because I think that might be quite cool if I had quite a few of them lined up next to each other. Colour coordinated. I think that would be quite nice. So I'm just going through my one of my bottom drawers which is full of hair care products. These are all products that I really, really, really want to get around to trying. Because I've been on Rakutane for the past eight months. Um, I haven't needed to wash my hair at all, like maybe once a week, twice if I'm feeling like a pamper. Roaccutane completely dries your skin of all oil, so I like my hair doesn't get greasy. Um, so I haven't really fin like used much shampoo and conditioner. Um, so now that my hair is going to start getting greasier again, I'm really excited to try and use up all these products. I am making a big resolution now not to buy anything that I don't need this year. Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's do a challenge. Okay, maybe not this year, maybe this maybe this season I'm not gonna buy anything I don't need. Is anyone up for doing this challenge with me? Le let me know in the comments if you are. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try my hardest not to buy a single thing apart from food and activities and stuff to do with a social life because I do need that right now. But like products and material like materialistic items, I'm not gonna purchase any so yeah that's exciting i'm getting rid of these products from this drawer i never really use like sea salt sprays or any sprays when i'm like um styling my hair if i use anything at all it's going to be like um dry shampoo or hairspray so i'm getting rid of these guys i haven't used any of them so i'm going to give them to friends and a couple of shampoo shampoos and conditioners i'm going to keep all the rest of these to try out just going to quickly show you some products i'm getting rid of these are mainly because i've already got them already they're like dupes so i've got a couple of these vici products and um, lots of doubles of kills so i'm going to try and use ones i've got and pass these ones on okay so these two drawers the top ones even though they're labeled wrong um i've emptied them both out they were full of all my eye products and i am completely surrounded <laughs> in a mountain of eye makeup which I'm now going to sort through. I've been putting this off for so long. I actually wanted to film this for my main channel like I did with my other decluttering bits but I just need to get it done now so sorry guys. So one drawer is now sorted. That took an awful long time. It's now dark outside um, but I'm really really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. I think this is the happiest I've ever been with my eyeshadow drawer before. That's really sad. Here are all my cream eyeshadows. Here are some kind of um, random eyeshadows. Here we've got Urban Decay, MAC and then some other ones, Barry M and Loose Pigments. I've got some mascaras I want to try and some unopened kind of like eyeline, liquid um, gel eyeliner. And then at the back I've got some mis more mascaras that I want to try as well. Um, I still have all this to sort. Oh, and some palettes as well, but it's far less than I started with, so I'm really happy. These are all the bits 
I'm giving away kind of unused and here are all the bits I'm chucking. It's that time of the week where the little bear can't get a treat up the, up the tube. Echo! Oh, if you don't, do you not want it? Do you not want it? She is fitting as much in her cheeks as she can. <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at that fat little face. Tonight's dinner is steak, broccoli, homemade guacamole and some sweet potatoes that I've just chucked in the microwave. I cozy in her first ever bit of broccoli. How cute is this? You're enjoying that, aren't you? Do you like your mummy? You like broccoli? I was really, really excited to have a nice bath and wash my hair. But this has just happened. This is broken off, so I can't use the shower head on my bath, which means I can't really wash my hair. So I'm going to have to have a bath here and then go upstairs to the shower and use my shower. I've tried taking this off from the bathroom upstairs, but it won't come off, so I'm going to have to buy a new one tomorrow. Such a fail. And then now this is leaking. What the hell? I'm still going to have a bath regardless and I'm going to use this to wash my hair. Um, I have got a little glass of Baileys to enjoy and I wanted to use a bath bomb but I cannot be bothered to film it right now for my main channel so I'm going to use this old one I've got. It's, I think it's called Blackberry? Black, Blackberry? Something like that? Oh my gosh I really can't remember but when I bought it the... Um, Lush guy said it was Angelina Jolie's favourite, so hey, I'm going to try it out now. It's probably not going to do much because it's quite old. Okay, now it's definitely not going to do much because I just dropped it and it's split in half. Oh, look, there's something in the middle. This is such a fail. <laughs> okay, it smells great, but it's sunk to the bottom, so I've placed one there, one there, and one there. But I like the colour it's turning my bath. It doesn't show quite accurately on the camera, but it's really bright purple in real life so yeah wish me luck wash my hair with a bloody measuring jug i am going to end my vlog here um i hope you've enjoyed it i've still got a lot more stuff to do on the house so i've i will vlog the rest of it i think i'm gonna have a working day tomorrow because i haven't done any work this week so far need to get a, re a video ready for this this sunday and i also want to film my final kind of eight month for accutane update before i do like a one in a couple of months showing how my skin is. I should mention now as well that I did get a spot like two days after I finished, like my first spot in two months and it freaked me out. I was like, oh, the spots are coming back but it's finally, like I haven't touched it and it's gone down now so hopefully that was just hormonal and that it won't happen again. But yeah, um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you again tomorrow.